Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be uh, continuing with the rendering section. So uh, let's just get started. I'm gonna delete this cube because we don't need it. So for this, what I do need to bring in is a rock because we're gonna be talking about the LODs. So I'll leave a description or a link below on uh, where to get these rocks. It's from the asset store. But pretty much as you can see, there's um, we got LODs already set up for these, but we wanna set up our own. So we're gonna go to models. I don't think it's this pack right here. This one. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna bring in one of these rocks over here. So they got LODs. No. Alright. So what an LOD is, it's pretty much level of detail. So you can set up level of details for each game object depending on where the camera is. So when you're real close to a game object, it could have, you know, the best level of detail, real detailed with a lot of polygons. And um, when you're far away, you could have it none detailed or, you know, no detail at all, like very low polygon. And you could also make the camera uh, cool the object, which is pretty much makes the object just disappear. So let's bring this in. And when we bring this in, we can see this rock right here where it just says shaded. I'm going to click shaded wireframe. That way we could also see the wireframes. So now we can see those wires, as you can see. And uh, let me turn off this terrain real quick, just so we can see it a little better. Now, let me bring in this other one and this last one. Now, I don't know if you could really tell, but this is the one with less detail. Let me see if there's a better example. I think these are better. So there's that one, there's this one, and then there's this one. So as you can see, this one has less triangles. Let me. This one has less triangles, this one has a little more, and this one has way more triangles. So we, what we could do is we could create an LOD, so just add a component right here on rendering, LOD group, and uh, now we have this LOD1, we have LOD0, LOD2, and when it says cold, it'll pretty much disappear from the camera. So LOD1, what we could do is we could add a renderer. So for the first level of detail, it's gonna be the best one. So uh, let me click on this one, go to stylize over right here, so it's right here. So now we go back to the LOD, Click on this first LOD, add a renderer. We're gonna add the, uh, it's this stylized rock right here. We could just drag it and then we have to click yes, repair it. Or you could also use no, use only existing children if you have any children, which we don't. So I'll just put yes, repair it. And right here, it's gonna repair it, the, the high definition uh, uh, rock. So now when I move it away, it changes as you can see. Let me bring it up even closer so now, you could also adjust the LODs like this. So let me bring it all the way up here, just so you guys could see. So when it's like this, it's high def, and then when it goes down, so you can see it drops. And we're gonna add the second one, which should be this one. I'll click right here, and there's the mesh. So we'll just drag this onto the LOD one, to the renderers. Let me try it again. Not wanting to add. Stylized rock. I'm showing here. There you go. And then yes, just repair it. And as you can see, now we got two of them. And uh, when we move, let's move this. So you can see it adjusts. Now we'll add the the last one, which will be the low poly one, which is this exact one right here. We'll go over here, and it's that one right there. Go to the last LOD and add this rock if it reads it. I ended up just putting this this little rock here because. For some reason, any other rock wasn't working for me. But uh, if we go to delete these, and we'll just get stylized rock. Now when we move, we can see it, it changes. And on the bottom, we could actually see that it has 418, 304, and then 44. So another reason that it shows inside of that rock is because what happens is it pretty much activates and unactivates objects or it just keeps them all activated depending on uh, what is needed and since you know that one's supposed to be activated as well and I hate that I can't show you guys oh there you go I think I was getting the wrong side sorry about that guys so all you guys got to do is uh, make sure you get the, the right uh, model and not the mesh looking thing so I dropped in the model and now when I get to over here, you can see down here, it gets to 304 triangles. It's LOD1. And we go over here, it's LOD2 with 164 triangles. So as you can see, 
they adjust accordingly and you could also cool them so like uh, once you get here it gets cold and it is not rendered by the camera and then you could recalculate uh, the light map if you need to so that's what you would pretty much do to use an LOD group uh, get three meshes one with a really good uh, high quality model so with a lot of triangles or a lot of polygons another one with a little less and then the last one uh, with very minimal that way when you drop your models in all you have to do is add this LOD group you could use a fade mode between crossfade so if you want to animate the crossfade or if you just want to adjust the fade transition width so this is just how it will transition so as you can see 0.87 and then as you can see it just jumps so you could adjust it how you want so right here we could have it you know 21 so yeah just depending on how you want and then you could also use a speed tree and uh, you would just have to animate the crossfade but yeah and to animate the crossfade you would just have to open up your animations tab and uh, hit the record button you know drag this along and once it's here record your different game object do the same thing for the other one and um, that's pretty much it so if you guys uh like this video if you found it helpful hit that like button you guys have any questions i know i kind of sped through this a little bit but i'm trying to make these videos short so if you have any questions let me know in the comments below also hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this uh, also hit that bell icon to get notified as soon as you as soon as i post them and uh, also to all my subscribers thank you uh, it really means a lot to me it helps me keep motivated it helps me keep making these videos so thank you for the motivation